Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind time is fluid. So whenever you view this, it could represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, in love and in life, please spirit needs to come through. I'm going to read your energy at the top. There's the bottom, but it can be flipped or reversed. If you are interested in the decks that I'm using, how to book a private reading with me, or how to follow me on Instagram, all the information is on in the description box below. Um, when I was meditating and doing the pre-shuffle for your reading, Aquarius, I kept hearing the time is now. It's about time. Finally, like just this big sigh of relief, like you've been waiting for something, some kind of confirmation, conversation, something, something's happening here. All right, clear messages and guidance, please, spirit. Aquarius, sun, moon rising, and Venus in love and in life. I do need to know, see, and understand for Aquarius, please, spirit. Okay. We have the page of wands, the six of wands, the devil, the star, the page of cups with the nine of swords. In their energy, we have the king of cups, the ten of swords, the eight of wands, okay, three of wands, the page of swords, and the death card. Under the deck here, we have the judgment card. So you or them, somebody is trying to end a situation to get back into your good graces, I kind of feel. Uh, you may be a little bit hesitant, a little bit nervous to kind of fully put your trust and faith into this person. But, um, and again, it all could be reversed. Cross watchers, guys, it all could be flipped or reversed. You could be in a situation, they could be waiting for that. Yeah, but they're, they're wanting to tell you, they're wanting to tell you something. We've been waiting for this. I mean, it could even be just them opening up their feelings, dropping their ego. We have unrequited love. Reconciliation and free yourself. Under the deck here, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. This definitely could have been one of those I didn't really expect to fall in love with you kind of things. Um, but I kind of feel like this person may have had you on pause for quite some time. But now they're trying to come back around to you and telling you that you are the one for them and they do want to make these changes. It's like whatever you've been waiting for to hear, this person is trying to meet you halfway. Can you trust it? I do feel like there's hesitation from you though. You're nervous about it, but it's like... A dream come true, but you're, you're, it's like, you know, you've been hurt a lot in the past. You've been disappointed a lot in the past. And so like, you're constantly waiting for the other foot to drop for like something to go wrong. Uh, you have a hard time putting all your trust in this. You're nervous. And again, I do want to say, I'm going to read this like it's you and this like it's them, but absolutely flip it if it's reverse. This is general. We have step out of your comfort zone here. So I kind of feel like you are being a lot more open. Okay. And I feel like if you're angry, if you're sad, if you're upset, if you're frustrated, if you are, you know, whatever it is you're feeling, you're just being more open about it. It's like, I feel like maybe in the past you held a lot of stuff back. And I don't want to say that you're a doormat. Don't take it the wrong way. Okay, I have a little bit of Aquarius in my chart. I, I feel you. Okay. But I kind of feel like you overthink everything. All right. And so a lot of the times, like if something was bothering you, you almost didn't want to disrupt the peace Okay, like you just tried to kind of go with the flow or this could all, could all be your person, all right? But I feel like there's an energy here, uh, you know, of just like holding back, you know, to not want to rock the boat. You're not wanting to speak your peace or create unnecessary conflict or that kind of thing. But this is you saying, you know what? If I feel a certain way, I'm just going to let it be known. I feel like you are nervous, okay, to kind of speak your peace, speak your mind to this person. But whatever you're about to tell this person, it definitely changes the dynamic of this relationship. It kind of triggers this person to realize they're going to have to make a choice. Now, they may, they may, they may pull away from you, okay, but I feel like they come back. So maybe this is you, past, present, future putting your foot down here with this person. You know, the page of wands, that is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're nervous, so it's like you're sending out some kind of message that you're kind of nervous that's not going to be well received. It's like, it's you know, it's making you a little bit anxious here. You're waiting for a response from this person. Now, they could have a big ego, okay, with that six of wands, uh, but I think you're going to be successful here. Maybe not right away. It's kind of like there is initial disappointment here in this situation with whatever this is said here. And again, this could apply uh, friends, family, lovers, work. Okay, it's a general read. We have the devil here. So Capricorn energy. It's kind of like you're letting... 
your mind's going wild with this, okay? It's kind of like you're, you're fearing the worst, okay? And one thing to always keep in mind is manifestation is incredibly powerful. You know, you think it, you feel it, you speak it, you say it, you wish it, you dream it, you hope it, you pray it, okay? You fear it. You you call that into you, call the energy around you. Um, I kind of feel like you, not that this is your fault in any way, don't even, don't try to misconstrue the message here. I just feel like you're holding so tightly on all this fear and insecurity and doubt and worry that you're pushing this person away or that you said the wrong thing or maybe you should have just walked away from the get-go or you get what I'm saying. Uh, you just, you, all this self-doubt, the self-criticism even, I kind of feel like, and it, it may not even be necessarily all related to this person, but just in general, like you're really too hard on yourself, okay? There's a time for healing here. It's like coming out of the fog, coming out of the dark, and it's going to feel, because it's been so heavy on you, it's going to feel just like a hundred pounds just lifted instantaneously. Like I see a separation here, like this person moving away and you trying to clear your energy and become into a healthier state of mind, really doing the self-work, really doing the healing here. You waited a long time to hear these words from this person. Now here they come. And the problem with this is you were just moving on, Aquarius. You were just leaving the past in the past, getting to a healthier state of mind, you know, putting your foot down, you know, really doing the work okay now here comes this person and they come in here with this apology and they want to tell you listen aquarius you are my sun my moon my stars you are the light the end of the tunnel you are all these beautiful things you know i'm hearing that song you know my favorite things rainbows and roses whiskers and kittens and they're just they're 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 they're, they're, they're really over emphasizing what they what they're feeling about you they're trying to just woo you in any way that they can they're just like you know what i'm realizing now aquarius has, has moved their energy away you know you've backed you've backed off you've regrouped you've started to heal you started to move on you started living your life doing your own thing and now i'm missing my chance okay now i'm missing my chance and now it's filling you with all this uncertainty and anxiety should you take this person back because this is what you've been waiting to hear, but can you trust it? What took so long? It was me walking away that made you realize that you want me? What is this energy here? It's like, finally, you are hearing everything that you wanted this person to tell you. They're telling you, oh, I'm going to leave this person. I'm going to move to be closer to you. I'm going to leave this job that keeps coming between us. I'm going to stop drinking. I'm gonna. They're going to tell you all the things that you want to hear. Now, the, 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 I feel like in a lot of ways, they're being really truthful here because they want to make this big change. It's about darn time, right? But you are uncertain because you've already tried to heal from this. You have walked away, finally got to a better headspace. Your heart began to heal. You began to feel just enlightened. Like you, you were seeing like the possibilities here. Now it's all coming back to you. It's like, what is this energy? This person, they have this hold on you. Okay, your hard work is paying off Capricorn energy. Now, I kind of feel like this person, honestly, I kind of feel like they may have gotten some new job or promotion or some kind of income or something that's giving them some more confidence to move towards you and make some kind of ending. So whether they live at a distance from you and they're saying, I'm going to move to be closer to you or, you know, I'm going to stop doing this or, you know, I'm going to leave this person now because I can or I don't care. It's like whatever was holding this person back in the past, they are being sincere in the fact that they are trying to move towards you. They are making some kind of change, some type of ending here, but it is sticky. Like it's still a mess. It's not like it's a clean severed tie with whatever this was. It like still kind of residually hangs on, okay, to this person. But they are, though. They're moving towards you. More strong fire energy here. They could have strong fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? King of Wands, he knows what he wants, male or female. They're going after it. They, they see you. They want you. The ending was too much for them. I feel like they couldn't take you stepping away from them. It's like they realize they're losing their chance. So they're shooting out all these messages to you, and I feel like they're shooting them at a distance. I don't feel like this is somebody who's just showing up at your job. No, this is somebody who is texting you, emailing you, Skype calling. I don't know. They're trying to get a hold of you. They're having to do it online. You're a little bit resistant. It's kind of like... Like you want to pick up the phone, okay? You they, they, you both waited for each other. You miss each other in some ways, but you don't. You're afraid to kind of fall back into this pattern. Now they're watching you, and they're wanting to know: Is it over? Will you accept my apology? Will you accept my cup? I have proof that I have ended the situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, strong Scorpio energy here. I feel like this person, they mean it, okay, but. 
whatever had a hold on them from the past, whether it is uh, their family, okay, maybe they're in a karmic relationship, partnership, marriage, okay, maybe they had um, some kind of job that kind of kept uh, demanding of their time, or they lived far away from you, or, you know, the, the distance wasn't an issue, maybe they were emotionally unavailable in the past, or maybe they were a player in the past for some of them, not all of them, you know, I just kind of feel like whatever it was, you stepped away because you were not seeing results. You finally put your foot down and said, you know, as much as I love you and I do want this with you, I can't keep doing this to myself. Now here they are. They're telling you everything you want to hear. And it's about darn time. But they had to do it when you had already began to move on and heal. Like, what's the deal here? They didn't want to see you move away. They're confused because they're answering the calling now. They want you. They decide they're not going to be completely happy until they have you. They're confused, though, because they don't know what you're going to do or what they should even say to try to win you back. Keep an open mind. I feel like you didn't really expect to fall in love with this person. There is a lot of chemistry here. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Like, you both want this. We have unrequited love, which says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I don't really see this with this card. When I see this card, however, I kind of feel like it can't be spoken about. A lot of eyes on these people here. You know, can they speak about it? We have reconciliation. Someone from your past turned to your life and free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Now, you know, this is a general read. It's going to be different for all of you. Now, for some of you, I kind of feel like you may decide... If they've truly freed themselves from the situation, maybe I'll take it slow and see where things are going to go. For others of you, it's kind of like you're deciding to take back control of your life here because this person just was toxic for you. It's kind of like it's, it's going to be completely, completely up to you what you want to do here. This person is trying to make changes, but whatever it is, even though they've severed this tie, it still has some type of thread still attached to them. Like it's not like a clean break. It's not like you can divorce this person and never see them again. Or you get what I'm saying? Like, or leave this job and you don't have to go empty out your desk or they're not going to try to get you back or alcohol or drugs or something or addiction where they you know they just cut it cold turkey and they're good it's like it still kind of lingers around like you can't really fight what you feel for this person you didn't really really expect to fall in love with this person but it, it, we have show the world the real you aquarius energy show them your strength okay maybe you're giving this person an ultimatum okay you're gonna have to show me we'll take this slow but you're gonna have to show me you're going to have to show me that you are willing to compromise here and that you're willing to, you know, continue to put in the work. All right, so Aquarius, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank each and every one of you who has supported my channel and those of you who have donated. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.